Hey there boys and girls, back the day down the north, basically down the north video, it's the 19th of December, got holidays coming up, my birthday's in 8 days time, so hey, thought I'd do this video because you know what, you've seen with my unboxing, I've got some new stuff, so today I'm going to be going down to court because it is absolutely a lovely day outside, ground may be a bit wet but it's still a lovely day, so I thought, I'd go out and do some videos with my new ball, my turn pal, training ball in blue. Yes, it's from the Impel training range, you can see. But I know it says on the ball that it's for grass and astroturf, but with this texture, I want to see how well this ball actually it's Not even got to be a proper review or anything like that, just want to see how well this ball was sand the court. Because, yeah, I'm going to go to the court because I'm filming with this ball. Uh, try a few things out, see how well it does. But no, we might our balls are usually great anyway. So, they were the standard throughout the 90s for both the Scottish, Scottish Cup and the FA Cup. And I think they're also the balls for the Premier League. In the Scottish Premier League, so yeah, uh, right, um, right up until uh, they changed over to Nike. But I think uh, might have still do actually the balls for the Scottish Premier. In fact, they do this, still do uh, the balls for the Scottish Premier, so that in itself is a testament to Mitre as a company. Uh, their balls, I can tell you through owning several different Mitre balls in the past, their balls are. Amazing, trained with official SFA size threes when I was a kid. Then the Scottish tr uh, the SFA training academy, the summer long one, and you know what? Uh, they're great. Uh, please excuse me. Still got a bit of the cold kicking about. It's just remnants. I've gotten over the worst of it. So yeah, I'll probably tell them my unboxing video that I've that I have, have still got remnants of the cold. So yeah. On top of that, it's given me a chance to test out my new Nike Tempo X Rio 3 indoor trainers, football trainers, as well as my Compyro upper and body base leather thermals, which I've got on, on underneath. These are quite unique and weird, but they work, that's the main thing, already, by the way. So yeah, <sighs> I had to drop that there, sorry. <laughs> Just to show you that I do actually have my bass levels on, and also it gives me a chance to test out my sound called Crew Socks. And maybe if it gets that little bit colder, then I can get my thermal, my sound called Thermal Gloves on, which I know fit like a glove. Pun intended, yes, they do fit perfectly, so I'll get some footage, then I'll come back later on, do a wee, wee afterthought on some of the stuff that I've got, but today it's mostly about the right arm pill, football in blue. So thanks for watching guys, now you'll see me at the court soon. I'm going to take the first few shots at goal, you can see my backpack sitting just right there, my ball sitting there, so yeah, it's going to be fun, it's going to be fun. See how well, let's see how well this mighty ball lasts on the concrete court, because this is all geared towards individual personal, re individual reviews, so enjoy.
so as I thought, the mitre was handling well on the concrete. What it looks like scuffs is just wiping away, so yeah. Uh, some of the thermal gears are actually doing pretty well so far. I've been here like 10 15 minutes, and even walking here, it was like really chilly wind, but still actually is like doing very well for like, product testing. And trust me, I've already been wearing my thermals for a couple of days, so I actually know how well they're doing. But the one thing I was wondering about was the uh, wind, and you know what? keep throwing away because it's windy. Good, 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 good. I apologise for the swim, didn't mean to, just almost took out my phone and I so didn't want that happening. <laughs> so yeah. I'll take a few more shots because that's like the rain sun to come on now, so I've got to get a few more shots, pack up, get ready and maybe go home to a little bit of an overview of how, how stuff has worked out soon, you know. Maybe come back down on our day, get some more shots, uh, testing the stuff out, and who knows? This may actually well be one of the best videos I've actually recorded, but you never know. Yeah, I'm one for making really stupid noises, but that's who I am. <laughs> so... Nope, nope, nope. Starting to get a bit too wet now, so I'm just gonna pack, stop recording here, pack up, go home, and finish this. Another day, it was starting to clear up too, which is gotten, but yeah, it's the risk you take. Try to do these things, especially here in Britain at this time of year. 
We'll talk about one on the 20th of December now. That's seven days to my birthday. Let's see if I can get another couple of shots in the pool. I shall try to go for the crossbar on that one. Actually, it bounced off up there, so yeah. A lot of fun, but yeah, that's me. Done for the day. Got it, I was wanting a bit more time. And, but, you know, this is how life works out. You can plan these things, go do these things, but the one thing you can't plan and range is the bloody weather. So yeah, I'll come back down another day when the weather's a bit, bit, bit more decent and I can actually get some recording done. Uh, hopefully I'll get a like a few more hours for another day, so, yep. I thought I maybe it held off, but... Let's see if I can get an angle. Yeah, rain. Hey there, I'm back just in this little last bit here, like an afterthought from yesterday's product test and this video has actually took three days to actually record one due to the weather two uh it took two days but i forgot to do this bit last night then edit it and that's me just getting around to doing that and then i've realized when i went into the editor that my video's got to be like about enough 20 odd minutes long so i'm sticking within the 15 minute limitation of youtube so here it is the products i've got them been testing, I'm still going to continue testing the, uh, just in this test video the now but I'll still be playing testing and other like regular testing so I can actually do reviews on them and give you my fair opinion including first impressions how the products are and other testing like uh, see how well they do and then that way I can do reviews so thanks for guys for watching, guys and girls for watching. Best way to support, uh, to help support me is by clicking subscribe, clicking on like, and also leaving a comment if need be. And thanks, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.